Do you start your essays with, this essay will discuss the merits and the disadvantages of this topic and include my opinion, and then continue your body paragraphs with, on the one hand, and on the other hand, well, you're certainly headed towards a band five disaster. In this video, I will explain why these templates don't work on the IELTS exam and exactly what you need to do to get those high band scores without learning more vocabulary or grammar, just simply using what you know in a smarter way. Let's begin. The first point you must understand is that IELTS, in fact, is created by Cambridge University and not British Council or IDP. Sure, you hear these words and they do the administrative part of the IELTS exam, but in fact, it's Cambridge that creates these task two writing questions and the necessary English requirement to get those high band scores. I mean, fair enough. Cambridge was established in the 1200s in England and is one of the oldest universities. Arguably, they created the English language and modern literature the way we see it today. So they know what you need to do to write that perfect essay. And I'm going to show you just that with a couple of examples and a step-by-step -step explanation. A great place to start is by looking at the official task 2 marking criteria that is publicly available. Right away, you notice there are four columns, task response, coherence and cohesion, lexical resource, grammatical range, and accuracy. You can check out all of the criteria that is required for a band 0 all the way up to a band 9. But we're not going to do that right now because as you can see there's just a lot of small letters and words. We want to focus on what is needed for that top level band 9 essay. To help me explain this to you even better, let's take the example task 2 question. Being overweight has become a major health concern in many parts of the world. Explain the causes for being overweight and provide solutions. Write at least 250 words. Later in this video, we'll take a look at a band 6 and a band 9 correction for this essay question. To understand the four marking criteria of the IELTS exam, we have to step back one and really first understand standard English essay writing practices. Now, this isn't according to what I said or what that other guy said in the other video, but it's the actual rules of writing an essay in the English language that has been developed over centuries by universities like Cambridge. Firstly, with task 2, you have to understand that you are writing a standard persuasive essay. The goal of this type of essay is to convince the reader of an idea. Then you must understand that such essays have clear structure with an introductory paragraph, body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Let's dig even deeper. According to standard essay writing, the author can choose to write the essay with three different voices. First person voice, meaning the voice of the author, in my opinion, I believe. This is using the pronouns I, me, my, and this is fitting for some IELTS task 2 essays. Or the third person voice, where the essay does not use I, me, my, or you, yours, it simply uses the objective voice of the author, using words like people and individuals. Very importantly, you must never mix the voices of the author. If you decide to write a first person voice essay with I, me, my, your whole essay must follow through with this perspective. Or if you use the third person voice, from beginning to end you must never use the pronouns I, me, my. And of course, never ever use the pronoun you. This would be second person voice and it is simply not used in professional and academic writing. As soon as you start writing, you know this, you can see that your mark will go down. Now that we understand that we need to write a persuasive essay in either the first or the third person voice, 
we can look at the marking criteria with more clarity. A band 9 task response states that the author fully addresses the task and creates a well-developed answer with accurate and precise ideas. This right away tells you that templates simply won't work. You have to use your own knowledge and your own language. As the saying goes, content is king. Does this mean that you have to come up with some really original ideas and write an essay using very fancy, high-level vocabulary? Absolutely not. In fact, that could be a really bad idea because it could be quite confusing for the examiner and will certainly result in low marks. Instead, use the vocabulary that you know well, that you can spell easily, and use your own style of communication. Going back to the question of being overweight, clearly the reason for this is usually that people simply do not exercise enough and they eat unhealthy. The solutions? A healthier diet and doing more sports. As long as you present these ideas with your own words and focusing on the topic and your explanations, you can get a band 9. Looking at the category of coherence and cohesion, for band 9, we can see the description that the author skillfully manages paragraphing. This means that the writer, you, clearly understand the components of an introductory paragraph. A good introductory paragraph will have a hook, some background information, and a direct thesis. This is not my advice. This is standard English essay writing practice at the college and university level. It's very important that you learn this structure. If this is new for you, check out our premium IELTS package and make sure to go through the writing course carefully. When we look at the band 9 description for lexical resource, it starts by stating that the author uses a wide range of vocabulary naturally. Now, does this mean that you're using very complicated words? Again, no, that's a bad idea, especially if you're making spelling mistakes. It simply means that you're paraphrasing, especially the key words in the essay. Like, instead of saying healthy eating, you can say it's a good diet, or lots of exercise, playing sports. These aren't complicated words, they're simply paraphrasing each other to avoid repetition and redundancy. Again, a simple set of words used wisely can still get you a very high band score as long as you make sure that your writing is clean and clear without spelling mistakes and with good grammar. The fourth and final category of grammatical range and accuracy states that the author can use a wide range of structures flexibly and with accuracy. Now, some people think this means using the passive voice, present perfect, past perfect, conditionals as much as possible and just pushing them into the essay. Again, this will likely lead to low results, especially when used incorrectly. You need to keep in mind that grammar has purpose. There is a reason to use present perfect. Academic and professional essays, in fact, usually avoid the passive voice because the reader should know the agent of the action. Again, if this is unfamiliar territory, I highly recommend using our Premium IELTS course and going through the writing section of the interactive course step by step. Nevertheless, for now, just keep in mind that grammar must be used with purpose. Let's take a look at a student's sample band 6 essay, which I will correct to a band 9 essay explaining each of the corrections step by step. First, let's read this band 6 introductory paragraph and identify the mistakes so that we can correct them and make them a band 9. Do you want to challenge yourself? Pause the video and see if you can find the mistakes before I identify them. Let's begin. In the past decades, people are more concerned about having a healthy life and controlling weight for many reasons. Although, in some regions of the world, the numbers of obesity and health problems has a giganticity increased. I think that one of the major problems 
is that people are not having time to eat properly and the fast foods are an easy option to have a quick meal. Another problem could be that some people do not like to do exercises to improve their health life. For these two problems, I have some suggestions. First, we need to remove unnecessary articles from the essay, like the, a, uh, and an, as these make writing wordy and they do eventually decrease your score. Then we need to correct B verb mistakes. Students often use incorrect form of the B verb. Here, it's were instead of are. Pay attention to word form, like healthy instead of health. Punctuation is also important for band nine essays. Do not use commas excessively. Here, the dependent clauses, although in some regions of the world, the number of obesity and health problems has increased, comma, I think. Know your complex grammar. Also, do not use unnecessary, complicated words incorrectly. Here, giganticity is both wrong and awkward. The word to use is simply greatly. Pay attention to plurals. Instead of problem, the major problems. Again, the B verb must be used correctly. Essays must be concise at the band nine level. Here, the phrase to have a quick meal is unnecessary in the introduction. High band essays must have a specific thesis statement. Instead of simply stating that for these two problems, I have suggestions. For band nine, the author should state what those suggestions are. To get corrections on your essays like this, make sure to use the green task one and task two buttons in your My Student account. Now let's read the first body paragraph. Having a quick meal is always a good option when you do not have time to cook at the moment. Most of the population, especially the ones who have access to cheaper fast food chains, probably are used to that option when they do not have time to prepare a proper healthy meal. For this, a good solution is in their free time, people could cook healthy food and put it small portions keeping them in the freezer. Doing this, the people will always have healthy food storage in their houses. Again, let's look for those mistakes with grammar, word choice, spelling, and content so that we can push this essay from a band six to a band nine. Do you want to challenge yourself? Remember to stop the video and identify as many of these mistakes as you can ahead of me. Now, let's start. Never shift the voice of the author. Avoid using you. Here, let's change this to a third person voice and replace the you with a person, when a person does not have time to cook. In this case, the correct collocation is fast food restaurants, because we're not discussing the entire chain. Although it's a small change, it is confusing. Avoid repeating sentences between your paragraphs. Here, this sentence seems to be redundant with the sentence that was already mentioned in the introduction. To get those band eight, band nine high marks, your body paragraphs must go into more details and explanations and avoid repeating information that is already in the introductory paragraph. Use affirmative language in your essays. Instead of using words like could, use the word can. Make sure to complete your ideas. Keep in mind that the reader does not know what you know. In this case, keeping them in the freezer for quick preparation later on. Simply reheat and serve. Avoid jumping tense in your essays. Practice staying in the present tense. Avoid using the future participle will. In this way, your argument holds true, not for the future, but for the past, present, and the future. Stay in the present tense. Make sure to review after each paragraph for mistakes like word form. Here using the adjective healthy instead of the noun health for healthy food stored in their homes. Let's read the second body paragraph and identify the mistakes here. Again, do this before me by pausing the video. See if you can catch all the critical mistakes that I will identify in just a moment. Let's read. The other problem to keep a balance in health food and loss of weight is by doing some exercises to improve the body, not just to looking good, but also to be healthy. 
Working out at the gym is always the first though to lost weight. But people forget that doing some other activities could help, like biking, hiking, and doing exercises outdoors could help to improve some of the vitamins that the body needs, especially vitamin D. Linking these paragraphs strongly using a second major problem is much better than simply stating the other. Emphasize important concepts by choosing the correct vocabulary. Make sure to use simple concepts whenever possible, like to keep a balanced diet and healthy weight. Pay attention to incorrect use of plural, like exercise instead of exercises. Remember to reflect the original topic of the question. Here, becoming overweight or being obese. In the topic sentence, it is much better to end by stating and avoid becoming obese. After you finish each paragraph, review for silly spelling mistakes that can quickly drop your score, like writing firsts instead of first. Keep language concise. Biking and hiking are forms of exercise which people do outdoors. This does not need to be stated for the reader. Stop and think about how you can improve information. Biking and exercising are both cardiovascular exercises that lead to good blood circulation. Providing this kind of added detail will help to boost your mark. Now, let's read and review the conclusion. Challenge yourself. Pause the video and see if you can identify the mistakes before I do. Have you already found some mistakes that I missed? If so, make sure to comment in the video below. In conclusion, studies shows that the higher numbers of obesity is caused by the highest numbers of people consuming junk food and not doing proper exercises. Of course, people does not need to stop to eat fast food, but decreased consumption could help as go doing some exercises that they enjoy too could help. Having a balance with health food and exercising is not easy, but if you want to have a healthy life and live longer, you should give it a try. Once again, word form matters. Especially when mistakes tend to be repetitive, these cost band scores. The same situation happens again with the B verb. Clearly, for this candidate, using the correct word form and the correct form of B is a common type of mistake. By identifying redundant mistakes and correcting these, a person can quickly improve their band scores. But you need professional feedback. Once again, you can do this in your premium course on the website. Simply click the link in the video description. Let's keep going. Using infinitives and gerunds correctly is confusing for many English learners. Be sure to review this before your IELTS exam. Keep your language concise, especially in the conclusion. When you're practicing for your IELTS exam at home, always check to see if you can write the same ideas using less words. If so, this will lead to better band scores. Concise writing is considered advanced English. You need to use affirmative language, especially in the conclusion, as this is a persuasive essay and the conclusion is the final thought of the author. That's you. So in this case, the candidate should write, they must do this instead of you should give it a try, which of course also has that second person voice mistake. Avoid making mistakes with the voices and use affirmative language. Convince your reader of your ideas. When you're able to do this well, that's when you get those high band scores. Make sure to practice this by going through the writing section of our premium IELTS course and submitting essays once you're confident that you have a good idea on how to write a standard persuasive essay in the first or third person voice. We look forward to seeing your work. This candidate would likely score a band 5 on the low end and a band 6 on the high end. After correction, this would be a band 8.5. For task response, the candidate gets an 8 because they do address the question clearly and with details. They identify some good points that lack of exercise and poor diet lead to these problems. And fixing these are the solution. The coherence and cohesion are a band 6 because at times it is difficult to understand the transitions and the information presented. 
Lexical resource is a 7. The candidate has lots of vocabulary, although they do need to improve the accuracy of the word form and at times the word choice. Grammatical range and accuracy is a band 5. This is where all of those word form and punctuation mistakes come into play. And of course, these different marking criteria are interconnected. Grammatical range and accuracy has a major impact on the overall cohesion and coherence of the essay. The important corrections for this candidate are the ones that are repetitive that are made three, four, five, or more times throughout the essay, including paying more attention to word form, being more careful with correct use of plurals and singulars, especially when it comes to verbs. And finally, using concise and clear language. Now, let's read the corrected version. In past decades, people were more concerned about having a healthy life and controlling weight for many reasons, although in some regions of the world, the cases of obesity and health problems have greatly increased. I think that one of the major problems is that people do not have time to eat healthily, and fast foods are an easy option. Another problem is that some people do not like to do exercise to improve their physical fitness levels. Nevertheless, there are solutions to these two problems. Having a quick meal is always a good option when a person does not have time to cook at the moment. Most of the population, especially the ones who have access to cheaper fast food restaurants, get used to that option when they do not have time to prepare a proper healthy meal. For this, a good solution is, during free time, people can cook healthy foods and put it in small portions to keep them in the freezer for quick preparation later. Simply reheat and serve. By doing this, people always have healthy food stored in their homes. A second major problem to keeping a balanced diet and healthy weight is by doing some exercises to improve physical fitness. Not just to look good, but also to be healthy and avoid becoming obese. Working out at the gym is always the first thought to lose weight, but people forget that doing some other activities could help, like biking and hiking, to improve blood circulation and vitamin D uptake. In conclusion, studies show that the high numbers of obesity are caused by many people consuming junk food and not doing proper exercise. Of course, people do not need to stop eating fast food, but decreased consumption helps. Doing some enjoyable exercises also helps. Having a balance of healthy food and exercising is not easy, but if a person wants to have a healthy life, live longer, and reduce weight, they must do this. Good luck on your next IELTS exam. For more help with the writing section, including task one, as well as other parts of the IELTS, visit and join our premium IELTS package at aehelp.com. Get access to original practice exams, an interactive course, over 100 hours of video lessons, and an app for your phone. We are an official British Council partner, IDP affiliate, test registration center, and I'm a certified British Council agent. Use the code WRITE9 by clicking the link in the video description for an additional 10% discount. Begin learning for success today. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch another video, click right up here, and click our IELTS Hero to join our premium package and get access to all of our videos practice exams, and a fully interactive course.